At bottom, robotics is about us. It is the discipline of emulating nature. Case Robotics Group, also known as CRG, was established in fall of 2008. The group, with its dedicated body of faculty and students, is committed to become the center of excellence in robotics. The mission of CRG is to bridge the gap by educating engineers with the ability to plan execute, evaluate and manage the latest technologies. Have a look at CASE and you will see the engineers of the future. They are the people who will transform ERA. In the very beginning of CRG, they started working to compete for the mega event of NERC, National Engineering Robotics Competition, organized by EME College NUS. They were there to show skills and capabilities on the big stage. July 2009, CRG participated in NERC with eight teams. They were not only announced as the champion team, but also backed the second runner-up and best engineering design award. After the outstanding achievement and victory of NERC 2009, CRG started working on the Robo Sprint, the robotics competition between Case and Air University, which was organized by CRG to provide a platform to the students who are passionate in robotics. Bumblebee it uses sonar sensor to avoid the obstacle. The performance of Bumblebee was so splendid that it runs seven times in the competition and every time it completed the full task by achieving the maximum marks. Bumblebee was the champion of RoboSprint 2010 representing CRG. Striker was one of the first track vehicle of CRG. This project was proven worthwhile when it won the Best Engineering Design Award in RoboSprint 2010. Progress goes to the people who go to the extreme, who push the envelope, who dare, who dare to challenge the limits of technology. And I can't wait to show you what CRG is progressing towards. It's me. It's me. This is the Ion Rover. It's beautiful. It's sleek. What you're looking at is the future of robotics. The project started in 2009. It's linked to do intelligence, surveillance, 
reconnaissance and strike missions. There are important challenges that you must consider what you choose can make the difference between life and death. Ion Rover has the highest climbing abilities. As the preparations had been done, it was time for CRG to show their abilities on the battlefield of NERC 2010. Expectations were very high. 155 teams from 35 institutes of Pakistan were geared up for the challenge. The challenge of winning the crown of robotics in Pakistan. Firebolt for NERC 2010, CRG started working on new drives, Omni Drive with Magnum wheels. The effect is such that the robot can move in a straight line as well as slide laterly with equal ease. Task completion of 24.8 seconds made the Fireball stand unbeatable and it successfully defended the title of NERC and earned the coveted crown for case once again. After NERC 2010, there was no stopping for CRG. They started running towards bigger challenges, higher venues to perform and stronger opponents to beat. Keeping one vision in their minds, CRG start working for the excellence in robotics field. Robocon. Robocon is annual competition between all Asian Pacific nations. The focus of the competition is to harvest cultural relationship between participating countries and to increase the knowledge of the young ones in the field of robotics. SCRG was working on both NERC and Robocon. They had a very short span of time to complete their task as compared to other participating universities of Pakistan. CRG participated in qualifying rounds conducted by Pakistan Television and was by far the best team on the show and they were announced as Team Pakistan for the Robocon 2010. They went international. This year, Robocon was held in Egypt and the theme was to build pyramids by using one manual and two automatic control robots. In Pakistan's group, the opponents were Thailand and India. In their very first match, they faced a setback by losing from Thailand. Next match was important. Opponents were India. CRG proved its capability by beating India. The design, fabrication and control of the robots of Robocon 2010 by CRG team 
were so good that they were nominated for the Pasha Awards for the Best Student Project of the Year. They won the winner award. The Robocon team also represented Pakistan in Apecta Awards in Malaysia. There are several moments in CRG history. The achievement of Striker, the victory of Firebolt, the ultimate execution of Ayan Rover. Now they have set their eyes for the title of Robocon Champions of 2011. This season, CRG's main focus will be on Robocon 2011 to bring home the engineering crown of Asia-Pacific region and prove to the world that Pakistan is as much capable in robotics as any country in the world. Rules of the contest. Each red or blue team consists of no more than three robots one manual and one or two automatic robots. The manual robot picks up three joystick pots and places them at any poles in the common zone. Without completing this task, the manual robot is not allowed to do other tasks. Likewise, the automatic robots are not allowed to start. The manual robot brings the candle base and places it at the decoration point. The automatic robots collect gratong petals and flowers from the storage points and places them at the preparation points. Automatic robots move up the sala and bring a gratong petal and a flower from the preparation points, stack a gratong petal on the candle base at the decoration point, and then stack a flower on the gratong petal. The manual robot collects any joysticks that belong to its team from the common zone and places three joysticks at the three holes of the decorated gratong. The automatic robots carry the completed gratong and drop it on the river surface. Only one of the automatic robots brings a candlelight flame and drops it on top of the candle in the completed gratong floating on the river surface. The first team that drops the candlelight flame successfully is the winner of the match. This type of winning is called Loi Gratong. A match lasts three minutes. The battlefield is set. Designs are ready. Robots are under construction. And CRG is on its way to the glory to set a new record to challenge the heights of engineering. And inshallah, it will.